Hello, my name's Chris Keating and I'm a charity loyalty and direct mail specialist and today I am going to be unboxing live the RSPB Welcome Pack. Now, why have I just joined the RSPB? Actually it has a lot to do with the reason why behind me there are a load of shelves with nothing on them. Um, we've recently moved house to a more rural location with a garden and there are birds in the garden um, and I want to know more about birds so obviously I've joined a bird charity. Um, okay first impressions it's a nice big box and getting a big box through the post is fundamentally exciting. Um, I uh, I think it's big because there's a book inside for my direct debit. I get a book in return, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, also, thinking about the strap line, RSPB giving nature a home. First reaction was, well, I just want to know more about birds. Second reaction was more, mm, well, we've been thinking about ways that we could get more wildlife in the garden that we now have. So. Maybe this does speak to me after all. Um, so yes, nice big package. Uh, you can see corrugated card. It's like an Amazon delivery of something interesting. So just laying it down. Uh, opens this way. Can you see that? So open like that. And there's the innards. There's a lot of stuff inside, which is good. Now, what's the best way to do this? Let's just pour this all out. Move the box to one side. Hopefully, nothing has got squashed. Ah, here, here is a letter. Which is saying, what's this letter saying? Uh, thank you for becoming members of the RSPB. We're delighted to have you on board. Now part of the country's largest non nature conservation charity. Now what have I done there? I've started reading the letter at the top. Uh, if you have read my blog posts about Siegfried Vogel and direct mail, you will know that actually people are more likely to start reading letters from the bottom, more or less, of the PS. So PS, not exactly. There's a message saying, please go online to view your privacy policy and find out more about how we manage your data. So, mm, okay, fine. Um, what's on the back of this? Uh, the contents of the pack and also the direct debit guarantee and if I need to contact somebody, there's a contact number, so that's good. What else? What's in it for me? So this is this is the benefits of being an RSPB member. Uh, let's get that nice and close. Uh, free entry and parking at bird places, which is good. Free guide about nature reserves. A free full colour quarterly magazine. Fantastic year-round events program for all ages. Good, don't have kids, but if I did, um, attend the RSPP's HEM for free. Wow, wow, I get to go to the AGM and it's free. Uh, good. Um, membership cards. Oh, do I have to blur out the membership numbers? Oh, hopefully not. Ah, uh, good. Um, so they've given me a nice membership card with an owl on. Um, they've given my wife a membership card with a butterfly. My wife absolutely hates insects. So um, I am not quite sure that she's going to be putting the butterfly membership card uh, in her wallet. Oh well. They won't know. Well, they could have asked, couldn't they? Um, best benefit of all together, we can give nature a home. So this is the 
is the transactional side. This is the cause-led side. Um, even small things that we can all do in gardens, community areas can help. Yeah, that's that's what we're trying to do with our putting a pond in the garden and piling up logs. Um, oh, other ways I can help get involved, uh, from shopping to leaving a legacy. Well, why not? Um, and come and visit Dovestone Dramatic Landscape in the Peak District. Oh, well done. They have personalised this, I think, with my location because we live right next to the Peak District. So I'm just guessing, but I'm hoping somebody has um, spotted the postcode and gone, ah, we'll give them the, uh, the version with the Peak District location. So that's quite good. Right. RSPB Handbook of British Birds. So this is the book that I mentioned uh, we were going to get for joining, um, which, yes, smells like a proper book. It's just it's this weird, like, do normal people sniff books? Um, don't answer that question. Um, with, so I'm just flicking through the pages. Curlews, won't have those. They're coastal birds. See, that's a bird fact that I already know. Um, Dotthorn, never even heard of a Dotthorn winged plover. Uh, birds of prey, in fact, oh, that's cool. Um, I will, I'll be returning to this later to see if I can find some species that might actually live. Ah, oh, coal tits. Now, I think I've actually seen one of them. Um, in the garden. So, good. I will be reading the cold hit article and trying to work out where if it actually was a cold hit that I'd seen. What else? Magazine. So this is the free quarterly magazine from the ingredients list. Um, I open the magazine at a random page and I get an ad for reduce ice strain instantly. Thanks guys. Not that old. Um, Crossword. Am I going to do the crossword? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, see, an ad for turmeric. Now, is this just because I'm a marketing type that I'm looking at the ads first? Right, here's something that's actually about birds. Um, Avocets stay in flocks of six to 30 individuals. Uh, more adverts. Go through that. Um, so, advert that's actually got some wildlife on it, so that's good. Um, uh, a young person has written an article, and then there's a advert for Saga holidays. <laughs> Only eligible for old people, older than me, much older than me. Um, trousers, yes, if he needs trousers. Uh, an activity, right. Yeah, flicking through. Okay, here's a here's another double page spread of actual stuff. Um, birds of play, birds of play, sorry, and probably somewhere in Scotland. Okay, um, first impressions of the magazine. Quite a lot of advertising. Not entirely unexpected for this nature of organisation to have lots of advertising. If you compare it with English Heritage, say, even more um, full of advertising versus actual content. But there it looks like there's some stuff that I might actually want to read. Um, Article about avocets. Yeah. Uh, chief executive saying why it's all important. Good. I will. I will read that and see if I continue to agree. Lovely page with loads and loads of photos of birds, which I'm guessing is what it's mainly about. Advert for the Dogs Trust, another charity. Um, so tempted to start to talk about the advert. It's pretty good. 
restrain yourself. Right. Fine. Other things. Um, what are all of these things? Another book. So two books. That's why it needed to be so big. Um, this one, your RSPB Members Guide, together we're giving nature a home. Ah, folded within the Members Guide, a uh, bookmark on the back of the bookmark. Uh, so this is specifically about, is that close enough? Right. Facilities at RSPB reserves on the map. So this is a bookmark to go in this specific book, I think. So right, there are these. There's this like map key. Is there? Okay, there's a map there, but there's no key. Oh, I see. Right. So that is the key to that. Kind of useful. Bit confusing. Kind of useful. Um, just flicking through. Some seasonal highlights. That looks quite interesting. Lots of places that I could go to. Now, I will confess, I am at the beginning of being interested in birds. I am not currently the kind of person who will trek long distances to see a rare kind of bird in a uh, in a reserve but so what am I looking for um, I'm looking for things that are near me so uh, are there PB nature reserves in northern England where do I live I live uh, just on the N of the word Manchester so of stone that's the one that they mentioned on um, this piece of paper, Dove Stone, so that's good. It's a dramatic landscape in the Peak National the Peak District, fine. Uh, it will also have an entry in here, right? You following me? I hope so. Um, East Yorkshire, no. Copet Island, Northumberland, mm, well. It's near where my parents live, could go there. Dovestone. Um, okay, so it's got it's got parking toilets. It's got accessible toilet, the good, if where should, and it's got a picnic area and it's four miles east of Oldham. There, there we have a picture of it. That looks very nice. Uh, can you read that? Let, let Dovestone lift your spirits throughout the cooler seasons. Glorious autumn colours, glistening snow and mists. Um, it's May. Fine. Uh, good. Probably we'll have to go and check it out. Oh. I turn over the page to the next thing. And there's a let's give nature a home if you have a spare corner. Could use it to give a home to creatures such as frogs, toads, bees, ladybirds, or more. So it's about making bug hotels. Again, good. Definitely the kind of thing I personally am interested in right now. Um, I will follow up for their bug hotel materials. Um, pun offers properties handpicked by us. Do I want. Have I, there's already been quite a lot of advertising, I have to say. Um, I'm not particularly interested in feeding this, but I feel I need to. Holiday cottages, uh, Saga home insurance, no. Um, green energy, yeah, fine, my energy is sorted. I don't need charity energy. Um, M&S, Sparks card, don't have a Sparks card, good. I mean, it's going to be relevant to some people, and probably is the right demographic, just not me. Um, a bank, I have.
have never heard of. Uh, a boiled gin. Another gin. Gin. Lots of gin adverts. Well, it's better better than saga cruises. Uh, weird fish t-shirts about Peaky Blinders, which I think is a TV show. Nah. Um, it's another advert for a, a partnership thing. Yeah. So this is Eco Talk helping to give nature a home. Swap your swim. Swap your swim. Swap your sim to the RSPB's new mobile partnership. Um, and the RSPB gets more money. And sim own 12 month contracts for. Mm, it's fairly cheap, but I don't know what to compare that to because that doesn't include phones. Anyway, um, on the inside, they have done a decent job of linking this partnership to the cause. Well, they kind of have. They've mainly put in lots of big pictures of birds, which is exactly what everybody reading this thing is going to be after. So when I say <laughs> they've done a good job of linking the partnership to the cause, they've put on lots of pictures and that has done the trick. I, I think that's quite good. Um, I have a RSPB car sticker. Uh, yeah. I'm giving nature a home, it says, which is good. Glad to hear it. Uh, though, I don't, don't know how well this is coming out, but it's B. It's a bird. It's B. Like birds, bees. Um, yeah, birds and bees. I would have preferred a picture of a bird. Okay, moving on. Another piece of cards. Properties handpicked by us. This is another partnership, right? For holiday cottages. Now, okay, this is also quite commercial, but it more commercial that I might actually be interested in. Um, so this is the, it's the product catalogue. Um, those look quite nice. Hedgehog sculpture. Just bought a house with a garden. Don't have much stuff for the garden. Um, bird bath. Yes, definitely going to want them. One of them. Am I going to want a hedgehog, hedgehog sculpture? I might well. Um, other things. Uh, a bumper bird food gift box. Great for the bird in your life. Um, artisan roosting pockets. Half pot ice. Bird food. It's like very practical. Um, inside RSPB bird food. Good. You would you would hope that they would sell bird food and they do, so that's good. Okay, even though these are sunflower seeds. Um, peanuts, mealworms, mixtures, feeders. Probably higher quality than the ones that you get from B and Q. We just got some from B and Q, so not top notch. Uh, a kind of seed that I've never heard of before. More complicated feeders. It's all good. Um, nuts and nibble feeders. This is good. This is getting complicated. Um, suet. Suet cakes for birds. Okay. I'm going to have to explore this. Super suet balls. More bird feed. Right. How many pages of bird feeders have we got? Right, we're up to 21, 23. Um, so page 25 is the last page of bird feeders. It's fine. I'm I'm fine with this. Fine with it. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, 
Um, oh, they've they've sneaked in some terracotta bird feeders on the first page of Love Your Garden, and some ceramic bird feeders over here as well. Got to feed your birds. Um, then we're getting into like general purpose gardening. So, bird baths, good stuff, good stuff. Bat boxes. Okay, this this is interesting. This is interesting. Um, uh, what else have we got? Bat boxes, bird boxes. Binoculars. General purpose homewares. Okay, so this really interesting. This, 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 half of this. Oh, that's content, that's interesting. More content. Mm, mm, kind of patio potato kit, kind of. Right, so this interesting partner offers. Mm, don't know. I'm assuming that that some people find these useful, or at least that they raise money. This I will I will read though slightly concerned about how old they think I am. This I will definitely read. So as I was saying, this I will definitely read. Um, this, not sure, might come back to it, maybe. Might go to one and see what it's like. Yeah, might be staying on the shelf. Um, then let's go back to uh, this. So I have peeled off my membership card. Um, it's not the strongest membership card. It's probably quite efficient that it goes on here. Um, definitely keeping that. This, as I mentioned earlier, has a moth problem. Uh, that means it's probably not going to get used. Then let's look again at the letter. So, RSPB is clearly a balance of benefits for the members. The uh, transactional type benefits, the entry to reserves, that kind of thing. So they're carving this here. They're talking a bit about the cause-led impact. So, not a huge amount, could be longer. Um, there's a balance to be struck clearly between those two sets of rewards for joining the uh, joining the RSPB, the material and the self fulfilment and the identity you get. Down here, even more support. Did you know that by booking a holiday you could raise even more money for the RSPB? Now I have quite a big question about how good that is. Um, on the plus side, people are really keen when they first join things normally. So I don't think that I'm going to be uh, quite as fascinated by the RSPB product catalogue in six months or a year. Um, that said, how many people Really, so there's a call to action here, book a holiday or change a power supplier. How many people book an RSPB holiday or use the RSPB's power supplier within, say, a month of receiving a welcome pack? I don't know the answer. Somebody in the RSPB membership team does, hopefully, hopefully if you're watching this, do you? Do you? Really? But I hope you do. Um, but still, for me, that as a person, that's not really working. Like, I find all of these partnerships are there, but partnerships, advertising, 
it feels to me like you've already gone a step too far in the relationship that I have with you, which is already quite a tentative one because my motivations for joining the OSPB are in some ways quite naive, like I now have a garden with some birds in and want to know more about birds. That's not the world's most sophisticated or committed link to your cause. But it is me, and I did genuinely sign up to this because I was interested, not just because I wanted a welcome pack to open. So, on the whole, I'm liking this. There's a lot to it. There's... Definitely smells like a proper book. Good stuff. What does this one smell off? Mm, feels less, smells less like a book, smells more like uncoated paper. Sorry, distracted by smelling things. So, lots to like. Um, lots of stuff. Quite a lot of the stuff I am really definitely going to read. Some of the stuff I might make use of. This is Scotland pretty well by Charity Welcome Pack standards. Um, very imposing, good doorstep value, feels like uh, this is something that is well worth my six pounds a month, eight pounds a month. Ah, five pounds a month. It is, there is a confirmation, it's on the back here. Good. I was able to find the information that I wanted of how much I was giving when I needed to, so fine. That's all good. Yeah. Overall, good job RSPB. Have fun.